So I'm gonna I'm gonna open up live. It's a, it's the Crooklyn way. Today I'm gonna work on uh setting up a live show. I haven't had to do that in a hot minute. Um Yeah. <laughs> if you're um in in the LA zone, um gosh this next Friday, August eleventh, uh me and a bunch of nerds are going to be playing at Meow Meow's Pasadena. Nerds. Nerds. And so I'm going to be using this keyboard thing. Ugh, great. It's an old APC-40. It's cool. Got buttons. Uh, and it's all good. Oh, snap. <laughs> uh, nothing I like more than turning the microphone. On a scared audience. All right. <laughs> That's better. So let's see if audio actually works and go from there. I'll start by um, <clears throat> start by loading up a recent set. One of the tracks I'm gonna play. This thing just basically is a bunch of knobs and buttons. Cool. All of my plugins can't be found. All right. First things first. How about I set up the right HDMI output? How's that? Hold on, let me turn the TV down. Oh no, the sound bar is on. Now when I get a text message, it's going to alert the police. Come on. So team, give me a spec on that. Let me know if you like the audio. We sound good. Do we sound good? The stream as a whole seems kind of quiet. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry? Check. Oh, I'm just checking. Check the mic. Mic checkaroo. Check one, two. Check, check the, the, the whole... Something. Working on the new side. I don't know what's going on with it. Stream as a whole is quiet. Is audio quality decent, T Mad? You are the guy to let me know. My mic is cutting out. My mic is kind of cutting the low frequencies in and out, too. According to chat, and I don't know if I trust anyone else on Twitch more than chat, except for maybe, um, we grabbed the same bad mic, we're going to try and fix it. Go, hopefully. It seems pretty hot, I don't know. I think the box, like the, the volume inside the box might be off. I could be wrong. Oh, okay. Hey, Tukart. Hey, John812. There you go. Now it's perfect. How's that audio? Cool. I need to sit up. My computer is not on my natural side, but that's okay. You won't see it. I'll just be leaning forward like this. So hopefully audio is going out at a good pace and not hurting anybody. What's up? Welcome. Hi. Welcome back. It's good to see you guys again. I feel like I was just here yesterday.
So I'm not going to be writing so much music to start out with. I might write pieces to fill in. Um, but one of the strengths of live is being able to pull in live sets. Um, we got this session overview cliff launch thing in front of me. But I don't have any clips in my session. I'm just working with this. When you move around the controller view, for those of you who are live users, you get to see all of the wonderful portions of your thing. Um, I have a 4x5 uh, clip view in front of me. Wait, 8x5, 40, APC 40, because it has 40 triggerable clips at once without having to move. Um, maximizing that could be useful. The one thing that I've run into already is um, coming up with a recognizable pattern for each section or some kind of like visual like flow of the set so that you don't get lost just looking at a grid of buttons, right? Because it's hard to tell, like, I don't know what you guys know about this controller, but I have faders on the bottom for volume for each of these guys. Um, there's a device control and, like, send and return control. Um, I can change, like, mute, solo, record. I can track select, right? So if I press buttons, it'll either stop all clips or select different elements of these tracks. Um, <clears throat> and I can also launch clips, right? Based on, like, that region of the window here. So if I move up to the top, I can hit stop on that guy or stop off clip. A lot of buttons that already exist in live, which is nice. Um, we can tap tempo, we can do a bunch of cool stuff. It's a pretty straightforward controller to use, especially if you're familiar with live's functionality already. Um, I wouldn't say it's super necessary for performing with Ableton, because they provide you thousands of ways, no, more like a couple of ways <laughs> to look at your, look at your, to look at your thing. So ready. Oh my gosh. TMAT is so ready. So what are you going to do? Um, what I want to do is actually start a new set. I just opened up this one to test the audio. Wait a minute. And of course nothing is playing because we're not in the right view. Um, I have keyboard shortcuts for everything. You can see all these little things light up. But I use the F key in order to return to the arrangement. I don't have any clips in there, actually. So one thing I might want to try... Actually, let's just make a new set. The last thing you're trying to save is created with the version of live. Uh, please save it as a new file. Uh, new Nort. I don't know. I'll just make it underscore Nort. Because I look for that beat often. Um, but I want to make a new document. And since I have a grid view in front of me, I want to work with a grid view. You know what I'm saying? So in my do -do 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 audio folder, which that's pretty cool, I can look at live projects, and we can go through sessions. One thing I want to mess with, let's like delete all of the non-default stuff that comes with my default set. I'm going to add a MIDI track for good measure. Um, but for the track we were just looking at, I can look into each of these Ableton projects. And I think Nort, the one we were just listening to, is in here. It would be cool if it was. I did give it an underscore. Well, Shock has a new version. Let's do this. I can open up that, and from... Your file browser, you can look at, what is this? Oh, setting up a live set. Sweet. Music Creative Ableton. <laughs> Thank you, TMAD, for fixing up the hashtags. I'm pretty bad at that. Um, so I can review clips uh, before I add them. But I don't think they'll show up properly. Because it's going to expect that in kind of this arrangement view, right? So it keeps the arrangement of like what I was working with, like the timing. If basically, if I wanted to get that entire track, um, into live, I'm opening up a session inside of a session. So let's just take all of them files. You know, you're not gonna let me do that. 
I see how it is. Neat. Um, and I think these repeat. So what I need to do is take clips from other songs. In this case, we'll kind of pull out like what that looks like for other tracks, if I can. So I think this is a beat, right? I think I have a bass somewhere in here, or I could just be pulling the same file, right? Looks like a sample. Uh, one of these is a bass. We're just gonna we're gonna make it work. So yeah, this is pretty close. It even keeps like the cool thing about this is it keeps most of your mix together, right? So it'll keep your your track settings. It will keep quite a few other things. But let's say I have different versions of this bass. Um, one thing that you can do, which I think is kind of, I don't know, it's not intuitive or explained particularly well, but you can drag clips from one side of Ableton, like in this case, the arrangement view, to the session view. So if I have this drum loop that I make pretty heavy use of in this track, I can hit tab and drop it over to here. And that will light up one of these buttons on this guy, which is pretty hard to see because of how bright it is. But if I hit that, oh, hold on a sec. Um, so also when we're going back to arrangement view, blam, we'll hit that and stop all clips so that I don't have anything in that bottom row playing. So I can hit my drum there. And maybe I'll make like a group for my all of the drums. But the first thing that I want to do is kind of cannibalize and group different sections of this track, right? So you can see now that I can select elements that are in the arrangement view, but I'm not actually going to make adjustments to the arrangement. And what might end up happening is I'll have many, many, many tracks um, that come from different files. And then I'll refer to them, hopefully, in a <laughs> meaningful way. Uh, throughout the live assembly of those parts. So let's take now the strings, and I'm just holding down the left mouse button and dropping it into the same channel. So now I have the same thing here. The rate at which I can press this button is not limited right now. And I don't know if you were around for our earlier, like, Ableton, like, how-tos and all that kind of stuff. But you can change that input quantization here. Um, in order to not mess up, just practice at a consistent tempo, uh, or a consistent subdivision. Right now we're at 90 beats per minute, so the 16th note is not really a difficult thing to pull off. Is that right? Right? Also notice that clip isn't set to loop like this one is. So we can do that with our MIDI clip. It's looping this tiny region. I think it's at least a two bar loop. No, even longer than that. Cool. One, yeah. So I don't know, how do you guys do it? So I like this track, I'm definitely going to work with it. Um, anything that is a sample based, like maybe I'll do like drum sample in one, and I'll do like another type of sample in another, like a, I don't know, I guess bass sample. Because I want to start organizing almost immediately. A, sam a sample for my textures or tones. I don't know. Uh, for example, like the Citizens of the World Unite and Fight sample that is over here, or Workers of the World. I'll take that guy and put that over here. Um, that also loops. And I have another version of that right here. So 
So what I want to do... Oh, you can't really hear it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to have all kinds of problems. Oh, it's in the same tone as bass? Oh no, it's in the same track. They're not the same color! There we go. Alright, so those chains are gonna have to live together, and we might just keep the source material and get rid of the chains. The timing is the same, um, but MIDI instruments are gonna be way different. So I'm gonna have to have sample drums for some things, and I might have to render out some other files to consolidate these things because I really like I said I don't want to go to I mean I have the option right I can always uh, view other areas of this grid of buttons but let's just kind of get to it put some time in today and figure it out later so I'll put a tambourine in it's a very specific sound Cool. Neat. I don't hear anything. Uh, I can check my audio MIDI setup. If you guys are getting any weird clicks, let me know. Uh, tw da -da 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 -da. Wait a minute, that's the wrong device. Is it still doing that? Okay. We fixed this before. How about now? How about now? That should fix... That, no, that should be it. Cool. Yeah, we have to change the bitrate for HDMI because the other end of the line can't handle it. Excellent, excellent. Good to know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, so close. You're welcome. All right. So that's pretty much part A of that song. I don't really have. My, well, I do have a part B, but I don't have a real outro. I do have a couple variants of the bass. Like if I were to go back to this. Why is MIDI on? What are you? So I have a cut up bass sample that I repitch. I do this a lot. I'm just trying to see if I do that weird repeating thing. Sweet. All right, so I like this version. What I'm gonna do in order to get this to work in the set, instead of having a bunch of little clips, is consolidate uh, and do the same thing here, right? So I can take, is that it? Sample texture? <laughs> this is poorly named. This is bass. Uh, this is the texture track. And this uh, is a MIDI tambourine, which may not live. We'll see. But now we have, like, the full version of the track, right? Oh, except for one thing. There's, like, some... There's one little... One little tone that I make 
pretty good use of. Oh, and it doesn't look like I've actually put it back in. It's this chippy sinusoid lead. Wonderful. So what I'll do is unmute you. And we'll add the final element to this track, which is this guy. Very, like, West Coast early. Also, the timing is kind of janky. Which I kind of like. I might make an adjustment to it. Um, but same problem. Uh, we can take the track and put it here, and basically what we've done is rebuilt. Whoa. We've rebuilt this section of the track where, like, this instrument loop, which would probably be like this last area, right? Um, and even, I think, building the track and doing the arrangement kind of ultimately, you know, comes from this type of structure, uh, oftentimes, right? Um, I'll make a kind of groove and break it down and usually work around its broken down parts. Maybe adding extra stuff, like this tambourine slap. Those drops and things like that. And I want to do that pretty live, like kind of how it's arranged in the first place. Similar, similar method. So let's go back to this arrangement. So I'm going to stop all clip. What is this? Right. Metronome is important. The tambourine is loud and not in time. So is that channel six? And the bass doesn't loop. None of these things loop. So let's hit shift. Edit three clips at once. Hold on a sec. Loop for me, please. But a lot of preparation of clips today. And maybe getting the mix better. Or at least in kind of a invincible space, if that's possible. Cool. Uh, let's see. Can I do channel five panning? But I don't use this controller often, so that muscle memory of like finding the exact knob that I'm looking for isn't there. But it's quite beautiful. All right. So anyway, that is kind of the. Let's say that that's the track. Let's do uh, AC Cat Rap 811. today's date, make sure to name your work, and what I'll do instead, I'll just put this like that. When you save a live set outside of a project, it'll create a project for you, which is pretty convenient, eventually. Cool. And that is that. So... But I really like being able to punch like that. Both. Both track. Team out is ready. I'm curious about what this guy also produces. And also, I should probably set some sort of marker. If I'm only on a stream for a few hours, maybe one or two, uh, to do like a one hour ish track. I've been on for about half an hour now. Maybe in like, I don't know, 30 minutes as I find more tracks that I like and kind of throw them into here. Like, what the heck? 
what the heck is what the heck? So coil effects. What is all this stuff? I don't know. Um, so what I might want to do here in my arrangement view is group all of the tracks that I imported to keep it clean and maybe name it after the track, uh, which I think is called Chalk. Uh, and this could help me like arrange maybe all of the tracks if I want to. But at first, we're going to think more about what are all of these parts? What is what the heck? I must know. How about I, how about I disable you? Now, the only thing about grouping like that is it is going to mess up my mixer view. But I can expand the group, and it'll actually reflect on the control surface. So, you know. What are you? I just I, I want all the tracks. What is all this crap? Let's do it. This is an old song that I haven't heard in quite a while. But I also haven't been uploading a lot of stuff either. So it's possible that that's fine. <laughs> Uh, Analog Lab and Reactor 6 could not be found. Alright, well, I don't need either of those specifically. Although, maybe that's the core of the thing, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Alright. What is this? I guess I could be opening tracks and reviewing them. Weird. This is where we look through my my poetry. Hmm. Good sound. Most of these things don't survive. Art class hero, new dope. What is this? Analog lab cannot be found. This looks like it was important. Interesting. I don't know if it'll work. This kind of loop. That's pretty. What are you? Ooh, it's some kind of meditative bell. I'm thinking of a bell, maybe meditating. Oh, interesting. And there's already a set here. Whoa. Okay. So that might be fun to mess with. I'm not sure. I'm kind of looking at what I've left behind. And seeing if it's worth it on. That doesn't seem particularly good. But, like, I like a clip from... This is a clip rendered from Sunvox. Very 
very peaceful. And a bell sound for your meditation. I don't know. That maybe is the hippie kind of thing. I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to do some just alphabetical exploration. Oh, this is actually a good one. What? Was it like a chat hog? I mean, I totally can. Cinco de Franco. <laughs> <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> this is Chad Hog. I don't know what theory. There's a guy. Oh. Oh, I, you know, I'm not much of an overwatcher, but somebody did a music video to this track recently. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can go find it. Yeah, like, he hit me up on SoundCloud, like, hey, man, can I have the stems of this? Because I want to make a music video. And he gave me, like, 50 bucks. Uh, it, it's, uh, fry, like, like, drosophilia. Like, I think, like, the fruit fly. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> so, I guess we should rap track this little dude who made this video pretty recently. But yeah, it's using this beat. So I think I should probably represent, you know? And like, yeah. He hit me up out of the blue a couple months ago. Nah, it was. Yeah. So, to rap track, who I believe is like a PhD student or something. We gotta figure out what to do. I should send this link to the chat. The only guy with a Nobel and a Grammy? Yeah. Yeah. This guy's like, a, this guy's a nerd with a capital N. <laughs> Dude, that one of my favorite lines from the from the chorus is like, "Your fans are like far em invisible." <laughs> like, it's pretty, it's pretty good. He's, he's probably like a physicist or something. I have no idea. I think so. I'm into that. I mean, so I gotta, I think I gotta represent that. I haven't, yeah. you know. I wonder if I can get the, I should, I should just get a version of this recording and mix it in without any, like with the ghost MCs around. My MCs are like far EM, invisible. So yeah, um, this is that instrumental and 
Should I try and separate it out? Or fold it into this other thing? Like, I don't know. I haven't really made, I haven't really prepared. <laughs> so, what I will do... Oh, I have a little bit of time here. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to play this. I don't know. Yeah. No, no. You want a mic? <laughs> okay. Right. I mean, that's why he's my favorite superhero. <laughs> you know what I can do, though? Is take elements out of this, though, right? Like, right. I mean, that's the that's the technique, right? Is to kind of transition through your set and then put like put effects in certain areas that make it kind of playable. Um, because it's only got to be like you know twenty minutes, maybe. I mean, yeah, really. I mean, this track's three minutes long, right? But like, I think of yeah that or like. 21 minute songs is kind of my mentality because I have a lot of that. I have a lot of one minute songs. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, those are the things we're going to do. I don't know, Team Ad, let me know. What are you into these days? The life set you were trying to save was created. We're going to do that. We're just going to save it as underscore so that I don't lose it. Even though there's like a up version of it, I don't know what that even means. What does this do? I don't think Goddles is going to work it. Oh, oh, is this what I think it is? Because then, if that's the case, then I totally am going to do that. Do, 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 do. Are you out there making your, making your live set? Hey, Dogen, what's going on? I'm investigating. <laughs> I would be commenting, but I'm mesmerized. Awesome. Uh, thank. You. By what? I don't know. I have this. So this is this is a loop that I have to that I have to I have to put this in the world. I'm a big fan. Those backward synths. I can't remember there. But this is like the root of, you know, whatever the heck song I'll have, right? Like, if I arm this track, I probably have a drum kit in here. Yeah. Dr. Dre Snare. I don't know, Some I found like a thread on Reddit or something that had. Um... That's a cool thing I to have. I really like that loop, even though it's not really a song. That's why I have so many sketches, because it's like, oh, what if I mix this with that? And then that's it. Man, you know that, that hardcore breakbeat? Aaron, you know this hardcore breakbeat, man? Nah, man, it's I Want You by Third Eye Blind. It's, it's that, that, hot third eye, that hot Third Eye Blind breakbeat, man. <laughs> it totally is. Check this out. Isn't that awesome, like, uh, I mean, it's just a. It, awesome? Oh, I don't know. What does the Third Eyed Blind song sound like? Let's get like this section. I I was listening to Third Eyed Blind with Bennett. Uh, he got into he got into it, and I think Hyundai I got like Pop four quiz. seconds into the Hyundai Pop Quiz event. And uh, I was just like, hold on, dude, stop playing this song. I got to listen to it. Yeah.
Is that even possible? <laughs> so that's the. I need to hack my 3DS to the extent where it can play Smash with Wii U people. That is a brilliant idea. If that's possible, let me know. Is it possible? You can use your 3DS to play against Smash on the Wii U. Uh, what? I'm so into that. I tr I remember we tried that over at at is it um is it Mike Michael's? Yeah, I didn't get it to work. Uh yeah, that must be, cause I got a I got an old 3ds. So what is this? Is this demo loop burn? Okay, so we have to go into the recent set, and like, get that. You can use the 3ds as a controller. Halves on a pie. Uh, let me triple check. Do, 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 do. I just want something healthier than a pie. <laughs> that is healthier than a pie. That's do I live near anyone playing? Uh, I can bring my controller. Isn't somebody out here for... Don't say... I'm sorry, when you said live near anyone playing, I, I, I guess I could figure out where you live, but I'm not going to. Um, so here's what I want to do. I'll go into Darn Loop Burn, and I'm going to insert that into here. It should just flow just work. There's sample texture, tambourine, these other instruments I do not like. I don't like you. Another audio track. Okay, good. Do it. So if I were to just solo these guys, move my viewpoint over here. Nice send. Can I turn A down a bit? Sweet. And so that's kind of Northern California. I do have your address somewhere, Duggan. Uh, we are Southern California. We should play Smash anyway. I'm not going to be able to participate in the tournament that's coming up next month. And thank you everyone who participated last weekend. That was fun. But I will certainly threaten James Rogers <laughs> to a match. That seems like a fun thing to do. So we're going to save this set again. And I kind of like going into the actual files for things that I don't recognize that I know that I want. Like, this is this track that's on my van camp from a couple years ago, but I haven't done much with. No, seriously? Like, I can't stand that James Rogers talking trash. We gotta go. We gotta go, dog. We gotta go. And, like, under what... In what environment is it okay to just... Hmm. Hmm. Just threaten, threaten a young man's life in Super Smash Brothers. Kind of like that loop as well. It's kind of like this eight bar thing, but I don't want to like individually set up.
my gargle sound. I can't hear it. I think I might want to do like a post mix um, for each stem to keep things narrow. But this is definitely one of those tracks that I want to have out there. Also, the timing for each of these things, right? What I'm doing on the side here is putting a list together of tracks that I definitely want to play. So, Kathy, I think Chad Hogg is from Doddles. It's important to know what set they're in because there are a lot of sets. Kathy is, I think, Zelenka's mom's name. But Doddles is like, you know, they're Doddles. I was messing around with that much. Um, and I guess for that, to that case, let's find out, what is this? Talking about OKKO, OK which, by the way, airs, I think, right now. Look at the clock. Mysterious time piece activate 405. Oh, the first episode of OKKO OK has aired. We're living in the past, which is super cool. track that was on dog track I feel like the drums haven't loaded or something but I can't really play this for this show contact oh it's just gonna like Load an instrument, but not play it. But you might have heard this track on Dog Truck. That's not what I'm looking for, man. Can't do anything with that project. HK, probably not. What? Oh, interesting. Disc read error. Save changes to Dog Day. All right, save. A lot of Ableton projects. I'm looking for amazing sounds. What the heck? MIDI bump and grind homeless man version? What? Uh, Alright. Oh, maybe I'll find that recording of the stupid delay. I guess, yeah, we'll search. We'll search. I do have an idea of what new stuff I want to play, but not the old stuff. Not old songs. What are you? That's pretty.
Interesting. That's a neat idea. I'll keep the name. I'm kind of ranking them as I go as well. Like Felt is a track that I listen to regularly. So much stuff that's not uploaded. Great. Go, go, go. This is on the Nerdcore Halloween track. Disco. That's got to be one or the other, but it's often neither when I actually have coherent words as the name of a thing. Ah, sample offline. Aha. What is funk disco about this? trying to use this Crash Bandicoot sample, but it doesn't really, uh, doesn't really work for me. I feel like I'm auditioning myself and hating, hating on it. Is there an arranged version of this? No. But let's see what clips I have. Nort. I think Nort itself has to be in in the rotation. Uh, I don't know where it is though. So we're gonna have to locate it. And then I have some other thing going on here. Whoa, it's like I thought of this before. It's almost like I came prepared. What's this? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I am now. Let's send this shout out to Matt Hull. <laughs> That's incredible. I think I want to just make a clip of this for the sake of it existing. I guess another organization method that I didn't really talk about. <sighs> All right. 
So let's go into life project and go into this cat trap thing. I'm gonna make a new folder inside of that project. Uh for clips. The cool thing about clips is I can drag clips from Ableton into a folder like so. So as I look through projects and stuff that I like, we can actually do stuff with them. And see, it'll emulate that chain for me and allow me to preview it. This is a miracle. So that's cool, which is neat because I do want Nort to be in here somehow, somehow, some way. And yeah, it's not going to. Well, will it give me this chain with the stupid compressor in it? Whatever. Whatever. Not super necessary. Uh, let's look at super old project. Wow, there's just this. Okay. Dottles. Probably shouldn't be up. So, what the heck? Underscore agarag. This is a nerd quarry type of track. Let's, uh, let's open it. I also probably want to add this project folder specifically. Uh, let's get that playing in the background, I guess. Or not. I want to add this project folder for this project. Boom. To my shortcuts over here. So even if I'm looking through live sets, I can kind of always jump back up to it. Even though I know it's at the top. But, you know, give yourself a shortcut. Tima, do you know what that is, uh, what that sounds from? Hey, Jake, what's up, dude? Uh, I've been on the jam for a hot minute. Let me check. I saw him just walk by. Yeah. The melody. Oh, let me see if I can find the sample. Working all day at a Disney resort in town. Welcome back, Kamaki. After a hard day of work, you deserve some info. Yeah. I don't know, I heard it I heard it during like SGDQ one day and decided to sample it. I made the remix. So this is the original, I just mangled the hell out of it. Dude, I just mangled it to death. My remix. I have no idea what I'm doing with it. Hey, it's Jake. You get a haircut, dude? <laughs> you should see the other guy. <laughs> How you feeling? Yeah. Well, you smell like at least $25. <laughs> Release me. Where is? I kind of hope that I don't have this sample because it would be kind of like a. Oh gosh, I found it. Uh, so dear team, add forty blue. This is. I don't know where I got this audio clip. I used it for something. But anyway, Jake is Jake will be your Valentine. Getting ready for the OKKO OK release party. Cause that's happening in a minute. So that's pretty nerdy. It's a little sloppy. I think I've made a lot more a lot more interesting stuff since then. Uh so we're not gonna save changes, we're just gonna Uh <laughs> Do you mind? Oh, I like this a lot. There's like nothing to this track. At all.
<laughs> I should do some more Defla Mask. Uh, what do you have that runs on OSX? Because that happens to be the machine I'm on at the moment. Uh, no offense to Def Defla Mask. I have to put a set together before next Friday. So we're just going to run for it, right? Because why not? What the crap? Un uprockable? Oh, I see. I see where you're from. Uh, yo. What is this? Forty-eight hour flus. Are you talking about Ableton? Oh wait, Deflamax actually does run on Mac. You know it totally runs on Mac. Sunvox. What is this? Do I seriously have like an empty? I probably was doing something with a controller. I can see the monom channel is is activated with nothing in it. What is this? MIDI drums that are inaudible. Hey, redundant sentences are funny when you don't mean to do them. Oh, interesting. What is this? something. How about blah 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 poop. That can't be bad. A lot of sketches to get through. Even more to get rid of. What is this? Oh, I know exactly what this is. I feel so dated by my library. Isn't maybe Brian Burwell coming on? Oh, this is like Tomoki level good. This is like TMAD level good. Sounds like. Whoa, you're here! It's Brian, the dog boy, for a well. Boy. food. Yeah, I'm distracted by sandwiches right now. Capping, Chad Hog, up, Fox Nerd. Don't, Don Thaith? Yeah, dog boy just walked in the door. Just like straight dog boy. They've changed the bode now. Not quite the feel I'm looking for. I'm just looking for those gems. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's like... That's, that's very... That's pretty troll... Troll worthy. That's bad. <laughs> that's 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 embarrassing.
That's right. Dog, dog, dog guy. Brian the dog guy in the building. This is a good one. Because it's Star Trek theme. Okay, actually, before I do that, there's one in between here and there. Called Don't Hate. Maybe it's a track that I don't hate. Contact 5 and 6 or whatever. Well, maybe this won't make any noise. Don't you love it when you're right? Puppy man? Yeah. This is the song for House Rules. It wasn't initially intended to be that. But I think that it's definitely got the quality that I'm looking for. So, this is high on my list. Kind of reminds me of like Grand Theft Auto, like Vice or like San Andreas. Yeah, it's like the loading screen music. You only hear it like Brian. What you up to, man? Yeah. Word, you are indeed. Oh, that's a good idea. Excellent. I should, uh, there's a place to download these things. Send me a message. Um, if you really like it, thank you. Very, uh, I don't know, very neat. I have, I, I give, I give lots of music away. It keeps me good with the Lord. I really like this beat a lot. But I haven't really had, like, a good use for it. It sounds kind of like a printer. Who is that guy? Is that like where's is that like Waldo? Is that Waldo's like Waldo's brother? Sounds like Waldo's brother. Why did I upgrade feud? This was feud. Whirl. Just sounds like a slightly more complex beat. Not particularly interesting. Please don't save. Feud I have loops of. Oh, it sounds like that guy looks, maybe? It sounds like a puppy man. It sounds. All I know is it makes a noise. But we haven't even gotten to this year. Looks like there's... The feel. This just seems like it, it has no feeling. The unfeeling robot music. I am it. Or, or lamb it. This is like the stream where I introduce a bunch of projects. This probably had the beat to it ages ago. Oh, there's an upgrade. Cancel. Don't save. I'm all about the feel of something. There's something here. <laughs> you know... I sent Ravi a text message. 
Okay. Maybe he didn't get the message? Yeah, that's fine. You should play Street Fighter again. Yeah. Alright. Ah, oh, this track's good. This is also like a very team ad type of thing. What do these things sound like? stuff I'm looking at stuff that I know either that I know and that I want or stuff that I don't know just like you team ad I don't know it just reminds me of like I, I don't know it, it reminds me of your of your tones send me some stems clips and presets at some point absolutely something has happened to our stream oh it's fine now yes yeah. I would absolutely love to work with your stem. That's the wrong track. Oh, this is a Crash Bandicoot sample. Interesting. I absolutely want your clips and sims and presets. Um, I will... I should make an exchange. I kind of like this group sound. Let's render it out. Let's just render it on out. This we've done a couple of times on the stream. I want to get audio from these guys. We're going to call it these guys. I'm going to record and grab audio from these guys. Done. I do have Dropbox. I do have Operator. I have uh, the live suite. I got all the stuff. Behold. Oh. Look at these pixels. Cool, so now I have this clip. Um, if I solo it. What's annoying is now my solo button isn't what it used to be. That's pretty reasonable. He has a drop of, yeah, just like, I want to be team ad when I grow up. Um, be like a synthesizer curator. Um, oh crap, I'm older than you, really? <laughs> Uh, how how about that? <laughs> well, well, all this could be yours. Look at all of these Ableton projects. Um, okay. What is this from? Level Up. Sure, that's like a reasonable name. Rename this clip. The Level Up uh, pad thing. Level up pad thing. Sure. Um, what else is inside of this current project? So we're in the L's. We're almost there, guys. What? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm 29. I'm about to turn 30 here in a minute. Uh, it is a mess. Like this next project. 
or like most of my Ableton library. I think I think we should be friends. We're all like you know similar in age, and possibly like you know outlook on life. What the? Hold on. Okay. Sounds like there is something going on here. Yeah. So, I can turn devices on and off. Alright. What is this a slice of? Some other drum thing? Okay. Cool. I'm uh, Ben at minpotion.com. Send me a send me a angry crow at gmail.com. It's a little bit more concise, you know, because I cornered my moniker like that. This kind of has like a weird loop, but sometimes a quick idea turns into a big thing. Wait, what? Thirty-seven with a huge belly to keep the beer bottles in the belly. Uh it is possible. Save changes to messes. I don't know. Wait, what? Of course I <laughs> But yes, I'll s I will share a Dropbox with you. I have I have such a great Dropbox. Alright. I like how this is silent. It's like a really good way to start the composition. Okay. Is there actually any note data in here? Because I'd rather, I'd rather move on to the files that have sound. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> no MIDI data here. Or there. Sweet. Mini boss. Oh, that's a cool track. I'm not going to play it. What is this? I don't know. As far as I know, you guys all look the same, but you have different usernames. And some of you may have hats. And others have relatives. Trying to connect to something. What is this? I'm excited. I just want to see what it does. Sounds pretty creepy. It's got bamboo clacks in it. Sure. Is it is it um irritating or like incendiary? Uh what's the word I'm looking for? Annoying. Has one of my operator presets. Oh boy. We're gonna grab that immediately. Ableton buff. I'm gonna go to uh, uh, wherever my Ableton stuff is. I think it's user presets. I can look at presets for instruments like operator. Do I have anything in here? I have brass. What? I did something with brass. I don't know. What is it? I'm going to add your thing to drop. And in the meantime, I'm going to figure out. Not bad. Okay, so 128 BPMs, which is compression. Also, the compressor can do the chain, set the side chain. You can throw a kick drum or another thing to set it to side chain. Then the threshold macro on the instrument rack will control the side chain. Okay, okay, cool. So I have a MIDI file. Um, 
which I should download. I should download all these things. I should download you into my heart. Cool. You know what? While we're here, I really need like a more modern set. So I'm downloading those things, which won't take very long at all, but I'm going to pretend that it takes a minute or two longer than it actually does. Because I'm almost done looking through these. Uh, I know that I don't want to hear move that potato, but NDR might be the thing. You wouldn't download a car. But if you could, wouldn't you? Okay. We already have this file. Somewhere else. Okay. Reverb profile test. This is actually pretty funny. Um, kind of a waste of time. Still up a level here. Uh, let's dock some RL straw puncher. <sighs> I think straw puncher might be worth a dang. You wouldn't. All right, be right back. That gives me a minute to look through some stuff. Where's the nerd stuff? I thought we were gonna make nerd music. Nerd? A track called The Ribs. How do you not open a track called The Ribs? If your computer ever becomes slow, you can always download more RAM. I downloaded four gallons of stuff the other day. Four gallons of RAM. Oh, this is nice. It doesn't make any noise. Sure. I will stop fronting and use my head. Okay. This is back slow. Thanks. What are you? Who are you? Ooh, I know that clip. Off a clip. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, this is where that track comes from. Nice. 
Sounds way better at 130. I like that a lot. It's so simple. You would be like, wow. I don't believe it. I like that a lot. This couldn't be. Okay, I'm sold. I really wish I had a mouse. I keep reaching to the right of this controller and there's nothing there. Just like my heart. Uh, what is this? The ribs? The ribs? Whatever. The wallet. You ever go through like a, a, a phase of naming stuff conventionally? I actually should open up a new live set. Though I don't think the wallet is very interesting, just like in real life. Um... Oh, this is like intermission music. We're on a safari, guys. This is more atomic music. Like a jungle. Out team adds materials. I'm curious about what those can, what those is. Uh, would you save changes to the wallet before closing? No. All right. So, what I have been supplied with in my downloads is a MIDI file, which I could just throw right there. Uh, which by default is a chord progression. All right. That's fine. That's fine. And there is a pluck instrument. It's a preset on track. Wow, look at all the stuff that's in here. Let's listen to it. Let's turn the knobs. Cool! It's the sound of the future! Okay, this thing needs like... This thing needs like a, like a drum beat now. Let's take it there. I do not want to listen to a whole Japanese fusion compilation right now. Can't you see? I'm padding out. I'm getting all geeked. Do I have anything that 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 beats in the night? Yes, I do. Cool. 
Wow. I am sold. Let's put this in the new project. Faking it. Jam on top of that, because we're here. Why not make a new track? You know, it's Tuesday. What's this? I don't know. I don't have a MIDI keyboard. Sweet. Need a filter. Why isn't there a filter in the synthesizer? Here it is. What? Whatever. We have Ableton. We could add a filter ourselves.
Whoa. That's pretty tonky. Pretty much time to wake up. I don't know why I'm like consider constantly like confusing you with TMAD, but like this is pretty. And that was a performance that I didn't record. Hey, that's kind of the point of the game. And maybe adding the real-time stuff to it like that is fun. I don't know. I'm sold, though. That was an impromptu collaboration. How about that? Hey, Mint Potion. Hey, that's cool. Maybe I should run the stream by the length of my battery, because that seems to be where things are headed. How's the uptime? I have no idea. I'm stuck in this chair. Wow, an hour and a half goes by quickly. Let's review a couple more of these things. I have like 20% of my battery left or something like that. At which point the thing dies. And we all cry about it. Because there's nothing inside the uh, current project. I'll go back to my audio. It kind of keeps track of where I was. Tomb is a great track. Just like we used to do. Um... It doesn't have a B part, but everything kind of lives in that weird, like, 85 to 95 BPM range, so I have a lot of options. But a lot of different ideas. A lot of different ideas! I guess used to do can go in there. I haven't done that yet. And whatever the heck that last file was with Tomoki, that- Ooh, he. Open a reason, Zed. Yeah, he mad sold. Good news is I only need to find like 20 tracks that I like. And I have a lot of tracks. Uh, Jisa, Hyper K, I think we already went through. Horn of Funny Words. Spin Cycle Sounds, ooh, score. Uh oh. Man, I'm so glad this is not some weird visual program. I forgot what I was going to say. But I'm so glad that that's not that. Nice. That's like definitely workable. Crap. Yeah, we're keeping it. Tomoko <laughs> forty fourteen blue. That's yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What is this project? HK? Okay. That's pretty. When did I make this? I don't know. It's like I'm in a alley brawl with Flying Lotus. Redu? I recognize some of these things, but that's crazy. Ooh, one of those 
making a new, <laughs> probably a new template. Yeah. What is off nearly? I think I tend to make Tomo mad. But that's just like the type of person I am. Could you let me know what drug this is? There's a track called Little Help. And this might have been around the time that Tommy was around. He used to go to the Disney... What is the Disney job? Tell me, tell me about your Disney life as I... Uh, Play a sound for the people. The people! Oh, sounds very peaceful. We're moving things around in Disney Resort in town. I stayed at a Disney Resort precisely once out there in, in Florida. Um, I feel like this is a lot slower than originally intended. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Off this stuff. They're moving it. Alright, we got through spin cycle sign, so it's already or score ready shell, I think is a track that I've rendered out. I don't render out many tracks. Well, I mean, but you're like a 12 foot tall Sam Squatch with like, you know, <laughs> right? I mean, isn't that what we're dealing with here? Like, you've got the strength of eight men. What is this the sound of? Really average everything. How about you? Oh, it's like some bloop. This is not correctly named. <laughs> Just saying. As far as I understand, Tomoki is a big and strong dude who can punch Sam Squanches in the mouth. And we're gonna have to auction off photos of you. Yeah, you can you can lift anything. Okay, this track absolutely needs to be played. 
The messed up thing is it's not the right name. And... It makes me all sad when I listen to it. called Snack BT, but that's not the name of the track. That's an HK, good. Alright, cool. Snack time loop. Great. The couch. Speaking of the couch. But we are almost done, that's right. It's been a pretty, pretty reasonable stream. I'm catching that two hour mark. I wonder if Ryan's still here. He might be. What's this? Seems jazzy. That's why they don't get rendered. Uh oh. <sighs> don't save. Eight more minutes. We can make it. It's like a weird workout. Dream for two hours. But you guys are seeing the beginning of this process, which is pretty late. Pretty funky. I'll keep track of that. I'm not sure I'll keep it. like lots of work is lots of money though, right? Right. Okay. I'm digging that. Cool. Let's go out of this project. More beats. Oh yes. I'm looking for like, I did a German bass track or two. <laughs> that I really liked. I think <sighs> well, someone was here. You might have seen this. I worked for my dad. I never really had a choice if I wanted a job or not. I mean, yeah, that's true. This is more recent.
All right, that's happening for sure. Uh, this is in a different group under the Jai group, not to be confused with uh that guy, <laughs> that guy. Cool sounds. Hey, cool sounds. That has to be a cool sound. What is this? The suspense is killing me. Hey man, remember that remember that 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 vaporwave video game I was working on? <laughs> This is that vaporwave truck. <laughs> oh goodness! I'm trying to Krarash. I think I might have to end it on Krarash, because now that I found all of the, it looks like the Jai files are the most recent, um, which is good. I don't know how I'm doing on time, but I feel like it, this feels like the right place to stop. Or maybe it should be on a loop. But this is a little bit ridiculous. Check this. Check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess it does loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do that? Probe you like. Don't save. It's gonna open the same folder. I don't know. Are we gonna play video games? What's next? It's up to you. What? The game is highly evolved. What is this? I feel a little bit dizzy. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out. Um, I suppose that's gonna be that's gonna be it for me for now. I think I found the gold mine of the more recent stuff. I can do a lot with this because it is loop based, and doing that kind of mixing stuff with all of these knobs. the way to go. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for helping me out. I guess there is that Sega Genesis tracker thing <laughs> on Mac. We might get back to that. I really like the sounds of it, but I also really like this patch. Like, thank you so much, Team Ad, for that. That's a new track. That's that brings that breeds new life into this operation. I'm going to think about other ways to use this APC-40 over the next week. So you saw kind of the beginning part, and uh, hopefully you'll see about the middle to end part. I want to be done with this by next Tuesday. So I'll be moonlighting it. Thank you for joining me on a little help. I'll see you next time.